Henry, I must ask you about a blue tie. We heard the other day that you did eventually find something to explain the run ahead. How much of a relief was that? Yeah, big relief. Uh, it, it, obviously, as we said, it was too bad to be true. His work had been really good. We took bloods from him the Monday before he was to go, and they were perfect. And uh, the Monday after, two days after he ran, uh, one of the readings was uh, sky high off the Richter scale. It showed a sort of bizarre kind of allergic reaction to something uh, the vets think. So we dug a bit deeper, and yeah, so it, it's looking like that. What, we don't know. Um, but between leaving us and coming home, or running, I presume, the way he ran, there was something up there. So we hope that's it. Uh, it looks highly likely. And um, uh, yeah, he seems in mighty form. I saw him this morning. He looks schooled brilliant and he looks great, which was how he was before he went to Haydock. But something must have, certainly on his blood readings within seven days, they were completely different. Yeah. It's great to hear he's back in good form. Is the Savile's chase at Leopard Sound still a possibility? For yeah, him? I think it is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've still we've got to run all those checks again before he runs, but he's certainly being geared towards that. Great news. How's the mayor been doing after her race last week? I'm sure she probably had a relatively easy week. Yeah, she has. She's great. Not a bother on her. Um, she seems really well. She ran really well, we felt. Uh, just, you know, maybe things conspired us on against us on the day, but uh, fair play to the other two and the winner was good and, and the other one and, and uh, yeah, we thought she ran well. When you say things conspired against you, what do you mean by that? Ernest? Well, it's probably not even conspired. It just, you know, you just wander two and a half on the, on the heavy ground against that level of horse. Do you know? Uh, you know, they're, they're one six, mid 160 horses and I think Classical Dreams 163. So probably not conspired no probably just as it got softer i felt uh Tihupu was coming more and more into the race you know after what he did in goran in the red mills and um now i'll always fear every horse but but i felt he was and obviously classical dream is is uh you know they're both very good horses so yeah i'd say maybe two and a half softer ground and good horses you know and just finally just caught us on the day as yeah. i'm sure you're well aware everyone's having their say about is she as good as she was etc etc what's your feeling about her actual performance i mean was it that much below what she's done in that race in the past i'm not sure it was you know i'm not sure it was but i wouldn't be a great form kind of part you know there'd be better people on that i i no, I, I thought between the second last and the last, she had it put to bed, you know, and I just wondered, did she get found out a bit stamina wise um, on the softer ground after that? But look, who knows? You know, she's she's brilliant. She owes us nothing. We're in bonus territory. You know, it's it's incredible what she's done. And uh, we've had a lot of fun with her. And, and I don't think it's finished yet. You know, we can look at the mare's hurdle as well. That's always another option. Um, so uh, not a, not foremost in your mind though at this stage, I presume. Is it? Oh, it would be. Yeah, okay. uh, well, well, no, sorry, foremost would be a strong word. It would be, they'd be, it would be very much in my mind. Yeah, it would. You know, like, well, my job is to try and find the race I think she can win. Mm. You know, so that's what I have to do. Um, now, if you know, if, if connections want to that, do something else, I'll wholeheartedly do that as well. So we'll see. We'll see. Look, that's all a long way away. Everybody has to get there. But um, Irish champion will be next, though. Yeah, absolutely, well. absolutely, and let's see how we go. Um, you know, she's older, and yeah, maybe I, I don't know. I thought I thought she ran really well. Um, obviously disappointed to get beaten, but she's back in one piece. Uh, she's in mighty form, and uh, like I say, it's bonus territory. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.